Glory to God. Supernatural wisdom for this week. 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 Blessings to everyone. Blessings to everyone. Blessings to everyone. Don't do it again. <laughs> Don't do it again. Don't do it again. <laughs> I hope my signal stays clear. Let's say this. Hope my signal stays clear. Struggle is a wrong thing that you have considered. Struggle is a wrong thing that you have considered. You never struggled to do the will of God. You struggled to let go of what wasn't his will. Think about this. You have never struggled to do the will of God. You only struggle to let go of what wasn't his will. Because you can't struggle to do something that's easy. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Think about that. So it's impossible for you to ever have a struggle doing something that's easy. If something is easy, you're not going to have struggles doing it. You only have struggles when it's hard. What was the story of the rich young ruler? The struggle was to let go of what wasn't God's will. The struggle was to let go of what wasn't God's will. Remember the man that Jesus told him, let the, bury, the dead bury their own dead. The struggle was to let go of what wasn't God's will. The what wasn't God's will was for him to go bury his father. So you never struggle with doing what God wants you to do. You only struggle with letting go with, of what God doesn't want you to do. That's why you got to be careful how you set your mind. Meditation is still demonic without righteousness. It's still demonic without righteousness. Meditation is still satanic without worship. There are people that meditate, especially in gangs, how to retaliate against each other. They plot it out. Okay, I know that this gang member going to be here at this time. We're going to surround him at this time. <laughs> and then this is how we're going to retaliate. So our meditation is not godly. This is why you got to choose the meditation that you're going to have. God gave you the power to choose which meditation you'll have. Choose the meditation that increases your servanthood. That's how you know it's divine. When you have the meditation from God, your love is perfected. Waiting on people to become what God has anointed you to become is slavery. Waiting on people to become what God has anointed you to become is, is slavery. You don't want to wait on nobody to become anything. You just become it. You have to recognize when God is raising you up as a substitute in a city, a substitute in a situation, a substitute in an office, in an assignment.
Every, every single thing that's going to happen to you this week, the Holy Spirit wants you to be a, a spirit of declaration over this week. Learn to use your words to establish manifestation. When I have Zendaya on my chest, I put my hand over her head. And I say, I decree, you shall be a woman of God. I decree, you will not walk in the spirit of rebellion or witchcraft. I decree, no evil shall touch you. I decree, all angels move with her now forever. I decree, you'll make no wrong moves. I decree, I release the spirit of wisdom on you right now. I give you wisdom. I release and I transfer the wisdom of God to you. Speaking words is how you release the power of the Holy Ghost. Speak words. To release God's glory. Talk. As if you're creating. With your vocabulary. Because every word that you speak. Is going to happen. Imagine how many demons. Are speaking over your life. While you're not speaking. Learn to decrease stuff. That's going to empower. Your current assignment. If you're a janitor. In the name of Jesus. I decree that I'm finding. Where the dust is. I decree I have strength and wisdom, the right attitude while I'm cleaning. I decree generosity is in my soul. I decree I have the right mentality to help solve every issue where people have spilled things, where people have disposed of trash in the wrong places. While you're decreeing, you're empowering yourself. And you're releasing an anointing for you to fulfill what God wants you to fulfill. Wisdom door. When you start decreeing, wrong thoughts start fleeing. Once you start decreeing, wrong thoughts start fleeing. Wisdom door. When you start decreeing, wrong thoughts start fleeing. If you take a note, write this down. Your mouth moderates your mind. And your mouth is the mantle for your mind. If you take a note, write that down. Wisdom door. Your mouth moderates your mind. Wisdom door number three. Your mouth is a mantle to your mind. Wisdom door number three. Your mouth is a mantle to your mind. So, so when you start decreeing, wrong thoughts start start fleeing. Your mouth is a is a it, it moderates your mind, and your mouth is a mantle to your mind. Your words is the oil of your next meditation. Wisdom door number four. Your words, your words is all for your next meditation. What you are saying is pinpointing your focus. Wisdom door number five. What you are saying is pinpointing your focus. What you are saying is pinpointing your focus. Wisdom door number five. While you're saying things that are supernatural, divine, you're delivering your thoughts, your emotions from all satanic traps. It's good for you in prayer to say in the name of Jesus, every spirit that has come to curse me, 
Every spirit that hates me. Every spirit that is working witchcraft against my life. I break it. I bind it. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any hidden evil, hidden agenda against my life that I cannot see. I send the fire of God and I decree the blood of the lamb over it to destroy its power. I decree no evil shall be accomplished against me. No evil shall touch me. It's good for you to decree things in prayer. What you are saying is activating godliness. Wisdom door number six. What you are saying is activating godliness. Wisdom door number seven. If you purify conversations with yourself, no one on the outside can stop your excellence. Wisdom door number seven. If you purify conversations with yourself, nobody on the outside Nobody can stop your excellence. Purify the conversations you have with yourself. How do you talk to you? Do you know that self-condemnation It's a conversation with something that you already did wrong. Wisdom door number eight, self-condemnation is a conversation with something that you already did wrong. Wisdom door number nine. When Satan speaks, there's pollutions. When God speaks, there's solutions. Wisdom door number nine. When God speaks, there's solutions. When Satan speaks, there's pollutions. Wisdom door number 10. You will not discover peace while attempting to discover flaw. Wisdom door number 10. You will not discover peace while attempting to discover flaw. You will not discover peace while attempting to discover flaw. Wisdom door number 11. The wrong you search for you will find it even if it's not wrong. The wrong you search for, you will find it even if it's not wrong because your perspective will already have it set. Wisdom door number 12. Wisdom door number 12. Discipleship is the forgetfulness of carnal passion. Wisdom door number 12, discipleship is the forgetfulness of carnal passions. Remember Galatians chapter 5, verse 25, 24, 25. It says that those that are Christ, uh, 24, 25, those that are Christ have crucified his flesh with all his passions and lusts. Wisdom door number 12, discipleship is the forgetfulness of carnal passions. Wisdom door number 13. I actually love this one. I should elaborate on this one. Uh, wisdom door number 13. Uh, discouragement is a mental famine. 
and faith is a and focus is a mental canon. I want to elaborate on this. Wisdom door number 13. Discouragement is a mental famine. And by the way, these are my wisdom doors. <laughs> this come from my spirit. This come from my spirit. My spirit linked up with the father. This, this, this is my wisdom door. Discouragement is a mental famine and focus is a mental canon. When your focus is like you're a laser, you, 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 you're a weapon of mass destruction. And nothing can stop you. But discouragement is a mental famine. You can't find any trees that God wants you to eat in discouragement. Wisdom door number 14, discouragement is the rejection of the table of the Lord. Discouragement is the rejection of the table of the Lord because this is where he feeds you. So discouragement is a mental famine and focus is a mental cannon. When your focus, the fire of God is purging what will stop the strength to fulfill God's instructions. The fire of God is shielding you from mistakes when you're focused. Wisdom door, what? Wisdom door number 15. Wisdom door number 15. Focus is the evacuation of what is toxic. Divine focus is the evacuation of what is toxic. Divine focus is the evacuation of what is toxic. So you you cleaning out all the clutter, of what's not supposed to be there. Now, let me just tell you something. Wisdom door number 16. Carnality is the focus on things that will destroy destroy your perseverance. Wisdom door number 16. Carnality is the focus on things that will destroy your perseverance. Wisdom door number 17. Uh, carnality is the focus on things that would destroy your receptivity of a higher mantle. Wisdom door number 17. Carnality is to focus on things that would destroy your receptivity of a higher mantle. Remember the, the Pharisees, they couldn't receive Jesus. He's at a higher mantle. They can't receive him because of carnality. His mantle is high. But they don't know that they have been given grace to receive what is high. Um, Wisdom door number 18. When pride is high, power is low. When power is high, pride is low. Wisdom door number 18. When pride is high, power is low. Which brings me to wisdom door number 19. Pride is the acceptance of a weakness. Wisdom door number 19. Wisdom door number 20. Pride is the entertaining of a flaw. Wisdom door number 20. Wisdom door number 20. Wisdom door number 21. Pride is the invitation. The invitation 
for unclean thoughts. Wisdom door number 21. A child, the more proud it becomes, the more it hates their parent. I'm talking about a little child. Because pride is the invitation of unclean thoughts. The more they think about killing their parents. Have you seen the children that have killed their parents? Why? Pride. Pride invited the unclean thought to even murder. Because the truth of the matter is, it's not that parents are supposed to protect children alone. Children are supposed to protect parents. So how do you get in your mind to murder? Pride is the invitation of unclean thoughts. Um, wisdom door number 22. Pride is the anger for God's order. Is the anger for God's order. Pride is the anger for God's order. Do you know even if you hate the timing of God, if it makes you angry that you have to wait for something, even that's pride. Wisdom door number 23. Pride is the adversary of patience and patience is the adversary of pride. Wisdom door 23. Pride is the adversary of patience and patience is the adversary of pride. Wisdom door number 24. Self-restraint is the hunger for exaltation. Self-restraint is the hunger for favor. Wisdom door number 24. Self-restraint is the hunger. For exaltation. Self-restraint is the hunger for favor. What's the reward. For restraining yourself. It produces the behavior that God likes wisdom door number 25 what's the hunger what's the reward for restraining yourself it produces the behavior that god likes wisdom door number 25 what's the reward for self re for, for self-restraint restraining yourself what's the reward for restraining yourself it produces the behavior that god likes Every time you restrain you, you are showing the respect you have for what God wants to get to you. Self-restraint is the hunger for God's exaltation. It's for, for exaltation and self-restraint is the hunger for favor. When you're hungry for favor, it unlocks your discipline. Wisdom door number 26. When you're hungry for favor, it unlocks your discipline. Wisdom door number 27. When you're thirsty for righteousness, it unlocks your learning. Wisdom door number 27. When you're thirsty for righteousness, it unlocks your learning. Wisdom door number 27. Because righteousness is going to teach you. It's going to show you. It's going to mentor you. It's going to expose you to what you didn't know. Or, or what you wasn't doing. Wisdom door number 28. 
Righteousness is always the exposure to something that you should have been doing. Wisdom door number 28. Righteousness is the exposure to something that you should have been doing. That's why when you get a revelation of something that's righteous before God, you're like, wow, how much years have I missed not doing this? How much money was stolen from me because I should have been doing this? How much peace did I not walk in because I should have been doing this? Righteousness always will reveal something that you should have been involved in. How come I didn't know the man of God back then? How, why did I, did I meet him back then? Why I was up there going from this one, this one. Wisdom door number 29. When God finds your man of God for you, you don't have to search for another. Wisdom door number 29. No, wisdom door number 29. Wisdom door number 29. When God finds your man of God for you, you don't have to search for another. Wisdom door number 30. The knowledge you want to have. can alienate you from the knowledge you're supposed to have. If you're taking notes, write that down. And that's very strong. Wisdom door number 30. The knowledge you want to have can alienate you from the knowledge you're supposed to have. Do you know how many people are searching for knowledge because they want to know it? But it's actually keeping them from the knowledge that God wants them to know. Because when God is trying to get the knowledge that he wants them to know to them, they say, no, no, no. I need to find out this knowledge. God is telling the young man, I want to teach you how to be an Elisha. But the young man said, I need to, I need to learn how to find and work out and walk in miracles. God is telling the young woman, I'm going to teach you how to be virtuous. No, I need to find out how to get my next degree in, 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 in Scientology. I want to learn about monkeys and how we came from the apes and how we came from it, what happened to that boy. How we, how we was a bird man. Wisdom door number 30. The knowledge that you want to have can alienate you from the knowledge that you're supposed to have. Think about that. Judas was supposed to have the knowledge of how to be a disciple. And handle God's money. But his knowledge was, how could I get the 30 shekels of silver? That was the knowledge that he wanted to have. The knowledge that he wanted to have was, how could I get this 30 shekels of silver? Oh, oh so, so if I just tell you what Jesus is, if I just betray Jesus, I get this 30 shekels of silver? The knowledge that he wanted to have alienated him from the knowledge that he was supposed to have. Think about that. Wisdom door 31. All spiritual practices are not profitable for your spirit. And that's heavy. What I said, Some, somebody quote me. Somebody quote me. What I said? All spiritual practices are not profitable for your spirit.
somebody going on a 40 day fast, you trying to go on a 40 day fast cut because, because, you know, I, I ooh, ooh, Jesus, ooh, 40 days, ooh, if I just go on a 40 day fast, ooh, boy, I'm a walking power. My shadow gonna heal the sick. Oh my God. If I just go on a 40 day fast, if I just don't eat, if I just, ooh, I just need 40 days. If just 40 days, I'm gonna lose weight, boy. I've been trying to get this fat back off of my chest. I've been trying to get this fat, this, 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 this back here, this love handle. I'm going to lose weight. Then I'm still going to be up there walking in power. I don't care if they call me a stick figure. I'm just going to be. They think I'm a stick figure, but really I'm an action figure. Because every time I come around, there's an action happening. Because I went on a 40-day fast. All spiritual practices are not profitable for your spirit. I'm sure that man found that out that went on the 40 day fast and died. All spiritual practices are not spirit, uh, profitable to your spirit. God is not telling you to do everything. Stick with the protocol of what your mantle requires. Wisdom door 31. God is not telling you to, to take on everything. Only do what your mantle is requiring. Do you know how many people wake up at 5 a.m. and nothing happens? And they've been doing it for years, 5 a.m. I'm waking up 5 a.m. to do prayer. I'm waking up 5 a.m. to do prayer. If they do a conference, no power falls. If they ever preach, no demonstration ever happens. Why? 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 You're tapping into God, correct? You're moving with God, correct? You're doing something spiritual, correct? But it's not profitable for their spirit. Wisdom door number 33. What unlocks another may not unlock you. Wisdom door number 33. What unlocks another may not unlock you. Saints, 33 wisdom doors, these things are heavy. What I'm saying on this broadcast is heavy. What unlocks another may not unlock you. Got a different pathway. Saints, I promise you that I did not get to where I am. Normal. God gave me a unique path and I embrace it. I still embrace it today. Wisdom door number 34. A different demonstration requires a different technique. Wisdom door number 34. A different demonstration requires a different technique. That's so powerful. That's so powerful. A different demonstration requires a different technique. A different demonstration. You imagine when Apostle Paul taking all those handkerchiefs and, and, and these handkerchiefs, he's anointing them to drive out evil spirits. You imagine for the mediocre, the, the, the milk saints. You imagine if they saw that, they thought Apostle Paul was working witchcraft. Why are you taking an object? Why are you worshiping that object? A different demonstration requires a different technique. 
Look at Esther bathing in oils and spices and all these, all these scents. You look at her, you're like, oh, oh. In the natural, in this day and age, you'd be like, oh, what you worshiping yourself? You a vain woman. You a carnal woman. It's not about that baby. It's about loving the Lord with all your heart and be ye holy. As he or she undie. As he or she undie. As he is ho ho she undie. There's a horse with a Hyundai. Where the horse in the Hyundai at? I'm trying to find them. Is there a Hyundai with a horse? Huh? You said there's a Hyundai with a horse. What, what, how did the number one? I want to find out how did the horse fit in the Hyundai? Horse Hyundai. I want to find out how did this ain't the Hyundai small? You telling me that the horse was able to? Is it smush? Do they got a seatbelt on? The police ain't stop them. A different demonstration requires a different technique. Wisdom door number 34. Never study those that are inconsistent with God's request. Wisdom door number 35. Never study those that are inconsistent with God's request. That spirit will go off on you. You'll find yourself becoming inconsistent with God's request. Never study people like that. When you see people that are not militant about God's request, never study them. Wisdom door number 36. Wisdom door number 36. Overthinking is the hindrance of your current joy. Wisdom door number 36. Overthinking is the hindrance of your current joy. Wisdom door number 37. Joy is becoming a steward. Over repeating something God promised you. Wisdom door number 37. Joy is becoming a steward over repeating something God has promised you. Wisdom door number 38. Joy is the rehearsing of a divine prophecy. Is the rehearsing of a divine prophecy. Wisdom door number 38. Joy is the rehearsing of a divine prophecy. Wisdom door number 39. Don't study your scars. Study your solutions. Don't study your scars. Study your solutions. Because a scar is a place of stagnation. Wisdom door number 40. A scar is a place of stagnation. A solution is a place of exaltation. You're being lifted above the fire. Wisdom door number 41. Don't walk around a mountain that your mouth was assigned to destroy. Wisdom door number 41. Don't walk around a mountain that your mind, your mouth was designed 
assigned to destroy. Don't walk around a mountain that your, your mouth was assigned to destroy. Remember, if you say to the mountain, they say walk. If you say to the mountain, be thou removed. Wisdom door number 42, your mouth is a mountain. Remover. Wisdom door 42. Wow, 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 wow. Wisdom door 42. Your mouth is a mountain remover. Now, I just caught a revelation from God. So, uh, so I'm going to read this out to you. Mark chapter 11, verse 23. It says that whatsoever you shall say to the mountain, for I verily say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed. Now, saints, I want you to see this. The Lord just showed me something. He didn't say, be thou moved. It said, removed. That means to move again. So there's going to be mountains that keep on showing up and all God telling you, stop acting like this is bigger than the last thing. Oh my God. Start using the same mountain remover. Wisdom door 42. Your mouth is a mountain remover. It's not a mountain mover. It's a remover. Because it's the anointing that dominates the mountain again. The mountain shows up again. It dominates the mountain again. Which is one of the secrets of my ministry. I am a mountain remover. Not a mountain mover. Because if you move a mountain. It might come back in another fashion. And then you don't got the equipment to move it. So wisdom door 42. Your mouth is a mountain remover. Wisdom door number 43. Wisdom door 43. Don't switch your weapon because Satan switched his attack. Wisdom door number 43. Don't switch your weapon because Satan switched his attack. Did you notice that Goliath was using different tactics to try to intimidate the children of Israel? They kept switching their weapons. They never defeated him. Wow. David stuck with the weapon. You notice that Satan switched the weapon. If thou be the son of God, turn this stone into bread. If you just bow down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms. I've got kingdoms all over. He switched the, the weapons, the attacks, but Jesus didn't switch his weapon. He stuck with the word. Don't switch. When Satan switch his attacks, don't switch your weapons. Satan come at you financially. The seed is your weapon. You already know. Don't switch up. Oh, I need to borrow. Oh, I need, I need this. I need this. No, no, no. Let me say this to a word to the wise. Sometimes your idea of success is the biggest failure to God. Because what you have acquired and produced was not out of honoring your God. 
So to exit you out of, a, of that false prosperity and that false realm of achievement, the path to exit out of false success, evil success, is that you have to go through what seems like uncomfortable instructions. I rather God kick me out of a, 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 a I rather God kick me out of royal clothes and give me graveyard clothes. Because the royal clothes was acquired off of dishonor. I rather the graveyard clothes and for God to build me back up to the royal clothes that is birth out of honor. Because now. The blessing of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. Same way, you may wonder how, how I end up living with somebody now. I was living by myself. You was living by yourself going to hell. <laughs> you, oh man, I used to be on my own. I used to be independent. You, was, you used to be on your own independent on your way to hell. You more on your way to heaven living with someone than you was on. Uh... Wisdom door. 44. Disobedience can only achieve the progress that torments. Disobedience can only achieve the progress that torments. Wisdom door number 45. Dishonor can only possess the prosperity that saddens. Dishonor can only possess the prosperity that saddens. Wisdom door number 45. Let God ex you, exit you out of what you have acquired outside of surrender. Wisdom door 46. Let God exit you out of what you have acquired outside of surrender. Wisdom door 46. Let God exit you out of what you have acquired outside of surrender. That's a good catch, Joshua. That's a good question, uh, catch, son, because for the wisdom door to be in alignment with the actual time, it's a good catch. It just show you divine time and how, how to the T, that God is. You can't miss stuff like that. Don't miss divine signs. Divine signs is confirmation that you're in the right place. Wisdom door number 47. Divine signs is confirmation that you're in the right place. Some of you all will see 21 all the time. 
How could you ever disown me? Divine signs is confirmation that you're in the right place. Wisdom door number 48. Geography determines your clarity with God's voice. Geography determines the clarity with God's voice. You remember how Jesus would go away from the people? Remember how Moses would go on the mountain? Wow. Wow. Let's go to Genesis chapter 35, verse 1. And God said to Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there. Make an altar to the God who appeared to you when you fled from before Esau, your brother. See, Bethel is where God spoke and appeared to him. Geography determines your clarity with God's voice. Let's go to verse three. Let us make ready and let us go up to Bethel so that I can make an altar there to God, to the God who answered me in the day of my trouble and who has been with me on the way that I have gone. Look, he's saying in the text, let me go to the very geography where the clarity of God the clarity of God is. Wisdom door. This is so powerful. Look at how he remembers. Look, look at this. Look how he remembers in the text. Look how God is reminding him. I'm going to talk to you, but I want you to go to the place. See, you have a soulish place that you never must forget. Where you heard God and you surrendered to God. And different things going to come against your soul in the future that you're going to have to remember where you was. See, everybody got a Bethel where God already answered you. Wisdom door number 49. What? Wisdom door number 49. Everyone has a Bethel where God already answered you and gave you confirmation. Everybody has a Bethel where God already gave you clarity. Wisdom door number 50. Repentance is the pursuit for your Bethel. Quickening is the revelation of your Bethel. Wisdom door number 51. Mm, mm, mm. Wisdom door number 51. Repentance is the pursuit for your Bethel. But quickening is the revelation of your Bethel. That word quickening has so much power to it. Wisdom door number 52. Quickening. Is God reminding you of a conversation that you and him both had? Yeah. 
Imagine that. So Wisdom Door 52, quickening is God reminding you of a conversation of you and him, you and him both had. That you and him both had. That's what quickening is. God saying, you remember? Wisdom door 53. Quickening is God destroying your spiritual Alzheimer's. Wisdom door 53. Quickening is God destroying your spiritual Alzheimer's. Wisdom door 54. Meditation is the recollection of divine. Meditation is the recollection of divine direction. Wisdom door 54. is the recollection of divine direction. Wisdom door number 55. The ignorant and the arrogant are both blind. Under the same system. And condemned to the same eternity. Wisdom door 55. The ignorant and the arrogant are both blind. Under the same system. Condemned to the same eternity. Wisdom door number 56. The law of learning is wiser than the law of discerning. The law of learning is wiser than the law of discerning. Because when you're discerning in your intellect, if you have not learned enough, even your discernment is going to be flawed, is going to be a mistake, is going to be an error. Which leads to wisdom door 57. Those who are not students are not prudent for discernment, for proper discernment. Those that are not students are not prudent for proper discernment. Wisdom door number 55, the law of learning is wiser than the law of discerning. Because when you're discerning, if you don't haven't learned nothing, you can be off. It's better to learn. Jesus said, come learn of me. He didn't say come discern of me because a lot of people have tried to discern Jesus. Said, this is Jesus. This not Jesus. And those are the people with no power. He said, come learn of me. He didn't say come perceive me. Come guess me. Come, come, come uh, uh, intuition me. He said, come learn of me. Because learning makes you a master of discerning. What's that? Wisdom door? Next wisdom door. 58. Wisdom door 58. Learning makes you a master of discerning. Wisdom door number 58. Learning makes you a master of discerning. Wisdom door number 59. Faith is the cake, but diligence is the icing. Wisdom door number 58. Wisdom door number... Number 59, faith is the cake, but diligence is the icing. God enjoys faith, but he's a rewarder of they that diligently. So, so, which brings me to the next wisdom door, wisdom door number 60. Diligence is your sweetness offering to the Father. A sweetness offering. Wisdom door number 60. Diligence is your sweetness offering to the Father. Wisdom door number 60. 
Wisdom door number 61. Diligence. Diligence allows God to eat from the menu that he requested. Wisdom door number 61. Wisdom door number 62. Inconsistency always provides God with wrong orders. He didn't order that. Wisdom door 62. Inconsistency always provides God's with God uh, provides God with wrong orders. Wisdom door number 62. Wisdom door number 63. If you don't create divine goals for your feet, you will never possess the areas that you have walked on with the soles of your feet. If you don't create divine goals for your feet, you'll never possess the areas that you have walked on with the soles of your feet. Wisdom door number 64. Revelation creates your appetite. Wisdom door number 65. Wisdom door number 65. Sanctification qualifies you for the next mantle of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom door number 65. Sanctification qualifies you for the next mantle of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom door number 66. High favor. Is subject to high loyalty. Wisdom door number 66. High favor. Is subject to high loyalty. Why do you think that the Bible said that. Mary was blessed and highly favored of the Lord. High favor is subject to high loyalty. Wisdom door number 67. Wisdom door number 67. Blindness is mindfulness of Satan's perspective. Wisdom door number 67. Blindness is mindfulness of Satan's perspective. When you blind, you have the same perspective as the devil. Wisdom door number 67. Blindness is the mindfulness of Satan's perspective. When you blind, you're in agreement with satanic law. Wisdom door number 68. Blindness is agreement with satanic law. Wisdom door number 69. Hatred. Is the fruit of satanic kingdom citizens. Hatred. Is the fruit of satanic kingdom citizens. Wisdom door number 70. Impartation is God jump starting. God jump starting your excellence. Wisdom door number 71, impartation is God creating a disgust 
for former mistakes. Wisdom door number 72, impartation is the resentment for former mindsets. Wisdom door number 73, impartation is the anointing for progress. Wisdom door number 74. Impartation is the wisdom for acceleration. Wisdom door number 75. Impartation is God storing in you. What will anoint you to take a hold of what God has in store for you? Wisdom door number 75. Impartation is God storing in you what will give you the power to take a hold of what God has in store for you. Wisdom door number 76. Discernment is knowing who not to share your conversations with God with. Wisdom door number 77. Discernment is grace. on how to deal with people God is attempting to win. Wisdom door 78, uh, uh, 77. Discernment is grace on how to deal with people that God is attempting to win. Isn't that marvelous? Wisdom door number 78. Discernment is God's... Discernment is preparation for greater stewardship. Wisdom door 78. Discernment is preparation... Wow. For greater stewardship. This stuff heavy. Discernment is preparation for greater stewardship. Wisdom door number 79. Idle thoughts reveals, idle thoughts exposes the unsubmissive side of you. Wisdom door 80. Struggle reveals your laziness to not cast down vain imagination. Struggle reveals your laziness to not cast down vain, imagina vain imagination. Wisdom door number 81.
struggle is when you're still protecting something that wants to destroy you. Wisdom door number 81. Struggle is when you're protecting something that wants to destroy you. Remember, Cain was protecting his jealousy for Abel, but that, that, that was going to destroy him. Remember that? Cain was protecting what was going to destroy him. So hereby you find this wisdom though that I'm giving you. Struggle is when you're still protecting something that wants to destroy you. Wisdom door 82. Wisdom door 82. Worship is a worship is a fast from distraction. And distractions is a fast from worship. Wisdom door 83. A part of worship is discovering what your man of God is demanding. Wisdom door 83. A part of worship is discovering what your man of God is, is demanding. Wisdom door 84. Offense deletes the joy. Of God's secrets. Wisdom door 80, 83. Offense deletes the joy of God's secrets. Remember when John the Baptist got offended. He, he knew the secret. This is the lamb that takes away the sins of this world. But offense deleted the joy of God's secrets. Offense deletes the joy of God's secrets. Wisdom door number 85. Depression is the recession of gratitude. Depression is the recession of gratitude. Wisdom door 85, depression is the recession of gratitude. Wisdom door number 86. Ungodly counsel often comes from people with godly titles. <laughs> Wisdom door 86. Wisdom door 86. <laughs> Wisdom door 86. Who, 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 who does this? Who does this? Wisdom door 86. Who does this? Wisdom door 86. Ungodly counsel often comes from those, comes from people with godly titles. Ungodly counsel often comes from people with godly titles. That's why I said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Because that man really has to be empowered. That woman really has to be empowered by the Holy Spirit to even detect.
Wisdom door number 87. You never have to research what God didn't originally tell you. Wow. Wisdom door number 87. This is real powerful. You never have to research what God didn't originally tell you. I don't have to do research on something that God didn't originally tell me. If God tells the prophet, I want you to go into the place, don't eat and drink. That's, that was his issue. He researched what God didn't originally tell him. Isn't that powerful how I'm giving you these wisdom doors and I'm also telling you scripture references to these same occurrences of what this wisdom door is saying? You never have to research what God didn't originally tell you. If God didn't originally tell you this, you don't have to research it out to find out if it's true. This wasn't what God started me off with, and this is not what I'm... Wisdom door number 88. You hear that? You hear that? Wisdom door number 88. Somebody going down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, ah! Oh, my carapa pasa caramanda. Boy, I felt that. Boy, I felt that glory to God. <laughs> no, I ain't feel that somebody going down. I felt that roar. Oh! Ha! Ka pa pa pa. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wisdom door number 88. Training is God aiming to unlock a side of you that you have not mastered. Wisdom door 88. Training is God aiming to unlock a side in you that you have not mastered. Wisdom door number 88. Ain't that powerful? Wisdom door number 88. Training is God aiming to unlock a side of you that you have not mastered. Think of it. That's wisdom. Boy, that's wisdom. So, so when you look at training, you say, oh, well, that's what that's why I'm being trained. Because I have something that's in me that I don't, I have not mastered this. Um, which brings me to my next wisdom door, which I'm hearing the Lord say. Wisdom door number 89. Glory to God. Glory to God. There are things that you cannot master. As long as you have the mindset of a bastard. Wisdom door 89. There are things that you cannot master when you have the mindset of a bastard. Remember, those that are led by the spirit are sons. When you don't have the mindset that's led by the spirit, there's nothing you can master. Brings us back to number 88 training is God aiming to unlock a side in you that you have not mastered. Wisdom door number 90 addiction is the love for something that causes God disapproval. Addiction is. Love for something that causes God disapproval. <laughs> wisdom done number wisdom done number ninety one. 
Check the nigga in the back. Check him. Check, check him in the back. Check, check, check the nigga. Check, check him in the back. Says so I can imagine on the day, on the, check him. I, I can imagine on the on the day of judgment, there are gonna be a lot of people trying to break through. <laughs> but saints, angelic power is way greater than human power. Wisdom door number 91. Don't settle for humanity. Oh my carapa so remante kere dus. Vere ma kata la maso kote le mande le vos. Viriata kara mata. Meto kura pasa. Don't settle for humanity. I want to say it like this. But meddle in divinity. Don't settle for humanity, but meddle in divinity. Just a wisdom door format, word of wisdom. Wisdom door number 92. Conviction is the correction of a wrong attitude. Wisdom door number 92. Conviction is the correction of a wrong attitude. Wisdom door number 93. Perfection is an inward hunger to do right. Wisdom door number 93. My God. Ha! Wisdom door number 93. Perfection is the inward hunger to do right. So when he said, be ye perfect as your father, get that inward hunger. Wisdom door number 94. Executing is more excellent than preparing. If you're taking notes, write it down. Execution is more excellent than preparing. Wisdom door number 94. Execution is more excellent than preparing. How many people, they say, I'm prepared to do this. Man, this is, this, this is a strong anointing I'm moving in right now. You know that, right? It's a strong anointing. We are number 94. Huh? Just straight wisdom statements. Even God was roaring in the back. <laughs> even, the father, even the father was going in in the back. You heard him. Kara ba 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 re pe 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 wisdom door. Wisdom door number ninety four. Well, ninety five, ninety four. Wisdom door number ninety five, right? Wisdom number ninety five. Submission is the desperation to be in the perfect will of God. Wisdom door number 95. Submission 
is the desperation to be in the perfect will of God. Wisdom door number 96. Submission is the searching for how you could invest yourself better. Wisdom door number 96. Submission is the searching for how you could invest yourself better. Wisdom door number 97. Submission is learning what angers God. Wisdom door number 97. Submission is learning what angers God. Wisdom door number 98. Submission is the ambition. To follow the instructions of a leader sent to you. Submission is the ambition to follow the instructions of a leader sent to you. Wisdom door number 99. Dominion is ignoring. Dominion is ignoring criticism. Wisdom door 100. Dominion is untouched by persecution. Wisdom door 100. Wisdom door 101. Wisdom door 101. Declaration is for the restoration of your soul. Wisdom door 101. Declaration is for the restoration of your soul. Wisdom door 102. The law of honor protects The impartation that you have been given. Wisdom door 102. The law of honor protects the impartation you have given. Wisdom door 103. Discipline. Discipline is the blocking out of serpents. Wisdom door 103. Wisdom door 104. The more you learn, the more you turn. Wisdom door 104. The more you learn, the more you turn. Wisdom door 105. I had a joke in my head. <laughs> you guys, excuse me. Wisdom door 105. <laughs> A divine sentence activates your repentance. Wisdom door 105. A divine sentence activates your repentance. Wisdom door 105. A divine sentence activates your repentance. Wisdom door 106. Pain is the demonic teacher that removes you from right decisions. Wisdom door 107. Pain is the demonic mentor that removes you from right company. Wisdom door 108. Pain is the demonic tutor that trains you out of the sound mind. Wisdom door number 109. 
Wisdom door number uh, 109. Wholeness produces your boldness to behave like God wants. Wisdom door 109. Bold, wholeness produces your boldness to behave like God wants. Wisdom door 110. Wholeness refuses the advice of the corrupt. Wisdom door 110. Wholeness refuses the advice of the corrupt. Wisdom door 111. Wholeness rejects sensual knowledge, sensual wisdom, and sensual counsel. Sensual knowledge, sensual wisdom, sensual uh, counsel. Wisdom door 112. Peaches and cream. <laughs> Wisdom door 112. Check them. Check them in the back. Check them. Check. Check. Check the nick. <laughs> the preacher be out there preaching Tulsa. Give you power over the neck of the enemy. About two sisters in the bright said somebody said neck in the, did somebody say neck in the pew? Who said that they going check them in the back? Check, check, check them in the back. <laughs> Wisdom though one twelve. <laughs> Wisdom door. <laughs> wisdom, wisdom door one twelve. <laughs> wisdom door one twelve. Excellence in trials birth God's smiles. Wisdom door 112. Excellence in trials birth God's smiles. Wisdom door 113. Consistency is remembering what you don't want to become. Wow. Wisdom door 113. Consistency is remembering what you don't want to become. Glory to God. Consistency is remembering what you don't want to become. Isn't that powerful? So when you keep on doing something God wants you to do, you're remembering I'm doing this. I don't want to become anything opposite. Consistency is remembering what you don't want to become. Wisdom door 114. The door that opens wide most times is the door that opens wrong. Wow. Wow. Wisdom door 114. The door that opens wide most times is the door that opens wrong. That's why it's so wide. Remember, wide and broad is the way that leads to destructions. Straight and narrow is the way that leads to life. You see how the scripture ties into that wisdom door? But wide and broad is the way that leads to life. 
So wisdom door 114, the door that opens wide, most times is the door that opens wrong. Wow. That's a proverb. Proverb of the king, Joshua Holmes. <laughs> The door that opens wide most times is a door that opens wrong. Keep that in your mind. Wizard door 115. Wisdom door 115. The ability to praise is the ability to be beautiful. Wisdom door 115. The ability to praise is the ability to be beautiful. Remember the word of God said praise is comely for the upright. Wisdom door 116. Wisdom door 116. Wisdom door 116. Bad habits is the echo of a wrong decision. Wisdom door 116. A bad habit is the echo of a wrong decision. Think about that. Think about that. A bad habits is the echo of a wrong decision. You know what an echo is when something hits and 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 the echo just keep on going. You hear a hide 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 hole and a hide hide who hide the hole. Uh Listen, so what happens is <laughs> Some of, some of y'all don't be catching what I be saying. <laughs> so, so look. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, I, I was talking to Zendaya. I was talking to the Zend Zendaya. Zendaya gonna talk. <laughs> I said, Zendaya, don't do me like that. <laughs> I trained you to be funny. Then, then they have that guy's own personality. Then, then don't, 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 be, don't be trying to run, run, run my own personality on me. Now, look at this. Wisdom door one, one. Now, now, let's look at that. Bad habits is the echo of a wrong decision. Bad habits is the echo of a wrong decision. Whenever you see a bad habit, it stems from a wrong decision. That bad habit is only there because you formally did a wrong decision. So you got to wisdom door number 117, right? You destroy a wrong decision with a strong vision. Wisdom door 117, you destroy a wrong decision with a strong vision. Wisdom door 117, you destroy a wrong decision with a strong vision. Wisdom door 118, repentance is reconciliation. with God's way of doing things. Wisdom door 118. Wisdom door 119. Vision is pulling your future into your current faith, your current focus rather. 
Wisdom Door 119. Vision is pulling your future into your current focus. Wisdom Door 119. Vision is bringing, uh, pulling your future into your current focus. Wisdom Door 120. Vision is a standard that God cheers you on to accomplish. Wisdom Door 120. Vision is a standard that God cheers you on to accomplish. Wisdom Door 121. Judgment is the undivided attention of God on your life. Wisdom Door 121. Judgment is the undivided attention of God on your life. Wisdom Door 122. Servanthood purifies your mind from former offenses. Wisdom Door 123. Peace is blindness to what threatens you. Wisdom door 123. Peace is blindness to what threatens you. Wisdom door 124. Meditation is a conversation with how you should think. It's a, meta, it's a conversation with how you should act. Wisdom Door 124. Meditation is a conversation with how you should act. How you should think. Wisdom Door 125. Humility is the fire of God. Humility is the fire of God for instructions. Wisdom Door 125. Humility is the fire of God for instructions. Wisdom Door 126. If passion and pain speak to you, choose passion. Wisdom Door 126. If passion and pain speaks to you, choose passion. Wisdom Door 127. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wisdom Door 127, your groanings, your groaning is loaning God the desire for him that he's looking for in you. Your groaning is loaning God the desire for him. He is looking for in you. Your groaning is loaning God. The desire for him that he is looking for. Wisdom Door 128. Wisdom Door 128. Wisdom Door 128. Perfect love does not compromise exiting God's will. Wisdom Door 128. Perfect love does not compromise exiting God's will. Wisdom Door 129. Divine production is the destruction of insecurity. 
Wisdom Door 129. Divine production is the destruction of insecurity. Wisdom Door 130. Wisdom Door 130. Discernment is where God alarms you to arm you. Wisdom door 130. Discernment is where God arms you to alarm, al alarm you to arm you. Wisdom door 130 is where God alarms you to arm you. Wisdom door 131. Maka pala sata. Wisdom door 131. Isn't that powerful though? Wisdom door 130. Discernment is where God alarms you to arm you. Wisdom door 131. Whatever God is teaching you is to prevent Satan from reaching you. Wow. Wow. This is the 21st too. This heavy. It's heavy. You know it's heavy. You know it's heavy. My God. You got 131? Whatever God is teaching you is to stop Satan, is to prevent Satan from reaching you. Isn't that powerful? That's 131. That's 131. Think about that. Whatever God is teaching you is to prevent Satan from reaching you. Wisdom door 132. Hope is the oxygen for endurance. Wisdom door 132. Hope is the oxygen for endurance. Wisdom door 133. Patience is an open portal. For clarity. Patience is an open portal for clarity. Wisdom door 134. Angels move. Angels move. When you decree the word constantly in your atmosphere. Wisdom door 134. Wisdom door 135. Pursue forgiveness, not revenge. Wow, wow, wow. Wisdom door 135. Pursue forgiveness, not revenge. Wow. Wisdom door 136. You don't eat Satan's words and vomit God's words. You don't, let me give you a wisdom door statement. Wisdom door 136. You don't eat Satan's word and vomit what belongs to God. You eat God's words and vomit what belongs to Satan. Wow, wow, wow. Wisdom door 136. Sometimes God speaks in riddles. You don't eat Satan's words and vomit what belongs to God. You eat, you eat God's words 
and vomit what belongs to Satan. Wisdom door 137. Whoever did not impart your anointing do not have wisdom to protect it. Wow. Wisdom door 137. Whoever did not impart your anointing do not have wisdom to protect it. Think about that. Whoever did not impart your anointing do not have wisdom to protect it. If they didn't impart it, they can't protect it. Wisdom door 138. You will not go higher with God listening to those who stay in the low place. You will never go higher with God listening to those that stay in the low place. Wisdom door 138. Wisdom door 139. The condition of one's life is the prediction of your life if you heed them. Wisdom door 139. The condition of one's life is the prediction of your life if you heed them. Wow. Ooh. The condition of one's life is the prediction of your life if you heed them. Think about that. My God. Wisdom door 140. Wisdom door 140. Don't let your trials produce mouths for you to finally listen. Wisdom door 140. Don't let your trials produce mouths for you to finally listen. Wisdom door 141. Wow. 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 Wisdom door 141. Wisdom door 141. You don't yield to environments, you create environments. You don't yield to environments. You create environments. You don't yield to atmospheres. You create atmospheres. Wisdom door 141. Wisdom door 142. Submission is better than... Submission is better than wrong observation. Wisdom door 142. Wisdom door 143. When you are diligent, you become the instrument of God. Wisdom door 143. When you are diligent, you become the instrument of God. Wisdom door 144. 144. Wisdom door 144. Tongues. Tongues is the receptivity. Of stronger conduct. Or let me say it like this. Tongues is the receptivity of more excellent conduct. Wisdom though 145. Tongues trains you to agree with the father's unpredictable decisions. Tongues prepare you to agree with the Father's unpredictable decisions. Wisdom door 146. 
Hope is a supernatural movie in your mind. Wisdom door 170 or 147. <laughs> Wisdom door Wiz, Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. Wisdom door one wisdom door one forty sim wisdom door one listen how we get to wisdom door one thirty five listen huh come here daughter huh listen come come again all right wisdom door one forty seven wisdom door one forty seven wisdom door one forty seven Man, I, I got to hop on in here. I got to hop on in it. Right, that's what I got to do with my eyes. I got to hop on in it now. Ma carapa sotoposia. Sere mandele vosia catala. Zero vos andele vos. Wisdom door 147. Now this is going to be powerful. This is going to be powerful. Wisdom door 147. If you keep your mouth, you'll keep your promotions. Wisdom door 147. My God. If you keep your mouth, you'll keep your promotions. Proverbs of the King, Joshua Holmes. If you keep your mouth, you'll keep your promotions. Uh, wisdom door 148. The increase of favor is the increase of adaptation. The increase of favor is the increase of adaptation. Wisdom door 148. Wisdom door 149. Adaptation is the grace to conform to the king that you're assigned to submit to. Wisdom door 149. Wisdom door 150. Hell is the home of people that refuse to adapt. Wisdom door 150. Wisdom door 151. Wisdom door. Wow. Wisdom door. My God, my God. <sighs> wow, 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 wow. Wisdom door 151. Wisdom door 151. <laughs> Wisdom door 151. Virtue. Virtue is the ability to escape people. That hate training. Wisdom door 151. Virtue is the ability to escape people that hate training. Wisdom door 152. Virtue is when God's order become your pleasure. Wisdom door 153. A divine king is a divine thing to your current season, to your current mindset, to your current emotion. Wisdom door 153, a divine king is a divine thing to your current season, your current, uh, your current mindset, your current emotions. Wisdom door 154. The person that obeys God is better than the person that boasts in God. The person that obeys God 
is better than the person that boasts in God. Wisdom door 155. Thanksgiving, it calms down. Deception, it lays down. Depression, it feels down. Com condemnation, it stays down. And dominion, it sits down.